What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins Channel. My subject today is, uh, actually, it's a sad moment. It's the day that two years that Prince Roger Nelson died. So, the reason why I'm doing this video is for all the Prince fans around the world that is experiencing a deep loss, pain, and emptiness today, most of all. Because it's been two years that Prince Roger Nelson died. So, I'm going to get started and explain what I remember most about Prince. Actually, everything that you are seeing me doing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Shout outs to everybody. Let's get started. Everything that you see me doing, right from this, I got it all from Prince. In some form or another, whether it was subconscious, consciously, uh, direct or indirect, it, I got it from him. Um, like I said, I'm I'm still really messed up about it because like Prince was like a, a fam losing a family member. Because I grew up with him. Well, not grew up with him, but I listened to his music um, ever since I was eight years old. When he died, I was 46 years old. You know what I mean? That's almost like a permanent part of your body. Then all of a sudden, that part is removed. How would you feel? You would definitely feel it. So it's like, don't get me wrong. They're saying like, What's his name? Bruno Mars is the next prince. Now, nah. and don't get me wrong, I like his music too, but he is nowhere near Prince ever. Come on, let's be for real. You know, and it's like, wow, two years. I've been debating whether or not should I go to Paisley Park Museum to check it all out. I, I don't really know if I'm ready for something like that. Like I said, and then, this is what blew me away too. Right after he died, they cremated him and they put it on YouTube. And I actually saw him get cremated. And man, that, that, that really fucking hurt. You know what I mean? So it's like, <sighs> this is always a sad day for me. Really. Because it's like, a lot of great entertainers we've lost and once they're dead they're dead they don't say nothing else about them you know what I mean they can go from B.B. King Richard Pryor Aaliyah Left Eye from TLC uh, Michael Jackson Teddy Pentagram Lou Ross Liv Wilson I can go on and on what am I saying about them Prince oh I'm sure I, I know I ain't the only one that's talking about that this day make it two years that he's been dead and he's not coming back. I mean, no one comes back from the dead, but you know what I mean? And it's like, it hurts because we have never seen another town like that probably ever again. I mean, he played lead guitar, bass guitar, piano. Uh, well, mind you, he played 27 instruments on his first album that he arranged, performed, produced, and composed. What could you do with somebody like that? You know, don't get me wrong. I like Michael Jackson's music, and I'm hurt that Michael Jackson is deceased, but Prince, you know, I know we all got to die someday. But shit, did it have to be fucking today? Maybe two years? You know? All the things that you see me doing... I got it from Prince. When I heard Prince music, I was eight years old. But when I heard Dirty Mind, um, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that was one person. I just thought he had a band, you know? I didn't know that was one person. I learned that he did For You, Dirty Mind, Prince, Controversy, 1999 album. Oh, that was him. So I gladly got affected by it because I could play all instruments and I became a one man's band, I would say pretty much by mistake. But I learned it all from Prince, you know. And it's sad because uh, 
It's never going to get any easier that Prince is dead, you know? Well, the only person that what, pretty much gets mentioned a lot each time that their uh, anniversary comes around is what, the late Elvis Presley? So, Elvis Presley and Prince, not that many people talk about Michael Jackson that much, you know, but Prince, how could you not forget this day? All the Prince fans, I'm talking to y'all, I, I know I ain't the only one. He sold a hundred million albums. And he was homeless at the age of 12. And he maxed out with 300 million dollars. Now, if that ain't inspiration, I don't know what is. So, as always, continue to watch my channel because I cover a variety of subjects. And also, hit that subscribe button so you can win some cash. But like I said, viewers, put in the comment section about how you feel about this particular day that Prince Roger Nelson has been dead for two years. He died two years ago, April 22nd. 2016. Uh, put how you feel at the bottom. I want to know. I do a coverage on it. I mention, you know, because uh, I, I always dread this day. Just like a year ago, I dreaded it. I was so messed up, I didn't even do a coverage on it. You still messed up about it now. It's not going to get any easier, but I'm a little bit stronger than I was a year ago. You know, because, like I said,